Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here and today I'm bringing you episode, well, <laughs> this is my second part of episode 6 of a Telltale Game of Thrones game series. So yeah, we've done the first two parts of this. This is getting really confusing because it's part 2 of the video but we're, we're kind of on to part 3 of the story of episode 6. But anyway, let's get into this. Thanks for all your support and feedback in the last episode and uh, yeah, let's just carry on with the story. Asha! How could this happen? It makes no sense. He died a hero. Gregor was a hero. Ethan was a hero. Now Roderick? It means nothing to me. It was his sacrifice that enabled us to escape. <laughs> it's not fair. Talia. Mother. Listen to me. We don't dare take time to mourn. Not yet. Lord is sure to move quickly now. He could be at our gates before nightfall. But there's hope yet! I've brought help! Warriors from across the narrow sea! With no equal in Westeros! Whatever their skill, they are hardly an army. My lady, I've seen them twice in battle. I've seen Asher lead them. They're a force to be reckoned with and will be more than equal to whatever Lud could muster. How can you say that? We've already lost. What are you talking about? Ramsay Snow. He came here. He set terms of war. He said the last house standing wins. And with the Lord of House Forrester dead. I fear she's right. By the terms put forth by the Boltons, we don't have a claim. Roderick may be dead, but the Lord of House Forester stands before you. I will lead us in battle. This war is not over until I say it is! Asher will lead us! Asher is our Lord! Asher, I wish this were a happier occasion, but this sword has been held by a forester lord for centuries. Now, it is yours. Shit, that's a pretty big honor, that. All hail Asher Forester, Lord of Ironrath. Defender of the Ironwood Groves! My father never trained me to be a lord. This was supposed to be Roderick's sword! But I was trained to fight. And by the gods, I will defend my father's house to the last breath. House Forester will prevail this day! <laughs> Just checking the sound um, on this episode just to make sure it wasn't too loud or anything, but yeah. Well, I think I said the wrong thing to the mother at the start, but I think everything else was perfect. I think that's exactly what you were supposed to do. Again, like I said in the last episode, I haven't looked at any videos at all. I, I play this because I want to. I, I don't want spoilers or whatever, so... Yeah, even if you're commenting spoilers, I'll have already played the rest of it, so I'll know what happens. Oh, we're back with this. Right. He's lying! Look at him. He's a crow. 
He wasn't sent here by anyone. Never seen a crow this far north of the wall. Must be a deserter. I don't trust fucking deserters. And you're traveling with a wildling. We're not your enemy, says the man who wounded my bear, who came here uninvited. I could have killed you out there, as easily then as I could now. He's a warg. The bear likes your kind even less than I do, so I suggest you shut your mouth. Your blade pierced his shoulder, and I felt the pain as if it were mine. You couldn't possibly understand what that's like. But I could make you understand. Enough, Josera. He claims to serve House Forrester. Anyone could say as much. What proof do you have? If you'd have us believe it's not a lie. This map is from Lord Gregor's journal. It was given to me by my uncle, the Sentinel at House Forrester. Beneath the eye of the Ice Dragon. Harida Is. Oh, you trust this crow? That map could only come from a forester. No one else would know those things. My friend is wounded. He won't live long without our help. Hi, Vis. Wait! Where are you taking him? Who is this girl? Is she a prisoner? Why else would you be traveling with a wildling? She's my friend. A wildling girl? I told you we couldn't trust him. She'll betray you the first chance she gets. My name is El Sarah Snow. This is my brother, Josra. What is this place? A refuge against the forces of darkness during the long night. A place of great power to those who know how to use it. I assume that's why you're here. You're a long way from home, aren't you? There must be a reason you've come all this way. Lord Gregor's last words before he fell were, the North Grove must never be lost. What do you mean? Last words before he fell? Lord Gregor was slain at the Twins months ago, betrayed by Walder Frey. You didn't know? Of course. How could you? He has no idea who we are. Why would he? You're right. He's just a messenger. All he did was blindly follow a map. Why should we trust him with anything? They clearly didn't. Lord Gregor was willing to trust me. If he was, then you can too. He wasn't the best judge of character. Perhaps Lord Gregor never told anyone. I wouldn't be surprised. Better to hide his shame where no one could find out. I literally don't have a clue who these people are. Or, uh, Whites. What the North Road is. Gregor went Fend and Bjornen. This is the gift the Grove gives me. I control these warriors. What about them? Hiftonese. What? No! Let me go! Did they teach you to fight at Castle Black? I hope they did. Otherwise, you're likely to die. I'll fight. But only if you release her. I knew you couldn't be trusted. Maybe you're the one who should be tied up. We don't have time for this. The dead are coming. I'll untie her, but she'll need to be watched. That's one less warrior, so I hope you know how to fight. Thank 
you, Garrett. Of course. There's something wrong with them, Garrett. Those warriors. They're not normal free folk. Not like any I've ever seen. Ready. Aye. This is really weird, honestly. I don't have a clue what's going on. Apart from the fact they're fighting whites. Don't know who they are, what the powers are. Controlling, maybe? Is that, is that what's going to help House Forrester? If you didn't know, he's been sent all the way to this North Grove to try and help with House Forrester. But, yeah. I'll find out what it is soon. I Lady Mira! Wait! Tom! What is it? Guards! They're searching your room! Break it down! Search the place! <gasps> They're coming after us for the murder. Come on, we can't stay here. What's going on, Tom? Sarah said she'd heard rumors about me. It's all over the keep, my lady. They're saying you take Lannister men to your bed and murder them in their sleep. What? That's ridiculous. It'd be ridiculous, my lady. If soldiers weren't smashing in your door. They're saying you killed that Lannister guard. There's more. Someone sent the captain of the guard a message about you. Dropped off at the guardhouse. You mean... someone's plotting against me? What was in the message? Murder accusations, most likely. Whoever's behind this, they're making their move now. If those guards catch you... If they catch us... We've got to stay close to Lady Marjorie. They won't touch us if we're with her. Lady Marjorie dismissed me. For good. What? What for? It's not important. Just... We can't count on her. Then we've had it, Lady Mira. Calm down. Panicking isn't going to help. Those guards won't stop until they find someone for Damien's death. What are we going to do, Lady Mira? How are we getting out of this one? Being near me is dangerous, Tom. Y you should get as far away as possible. Appreciate the thought, my lady. But we're in this together. But I don't know how to aid you now. Tell me and I'll help you. Whatever it is, we can't stay here. Things are too dangerous for me here, Tom. I need to get back to Ironrath. There's a collier store by the river gate. On Muddy Way. The owners are like family. You'll be safe. From there, we can get you out of King's Landing. Who's there? Show yourself, or it'll be worse for you. Get to the Colliers. Tell Godwin I sent you. Goodbye, Lady Mira. The coal boy. Take him. Characters, man, that uh, that end up like either getting killed or seriously maimed. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> I hope I get a good ending. Honestly, I don't know. If, I, I think some of my de decisions have been correct. Others probably wrong. So yeah, we'll see how it culminates in the end. I suppose. Yeah, loading times for this are a bitch. That's that's one of my complaints about it, but honestly, it's a solid storyline, and they've got proper voice actors, so I appreciate the effort they've put in to do all these decisions and things. It must take quite a while. But yeah, who are we going to go with now? Is it going to be back to Asher? I, I reckon actually it'll be the, the Night's Watch. Sorry. Um, oh, Garrett. Yeah, that's right. <sighs> Hey, there we go.
Mira told us he was gathering an army. We have heard to think it's not bigger, but we can't fight that. He doesn't expect us to. He's trying to frighten us into surrender. I want every bolt aimed at Lord Whitehill the moment he appears. Ryan! Fuck. Crossbow's up! Asher Forrester! Show your face, boy! Ryan! He's frightened, father. On ya! <laughs> well, Lord, you must not have much faith in this army of yours if you feel the need to hide by my little brother. <laughs> You mistake me, Forrester. Ryan is here for your protection, to stop you from being stupid. You see, I'm here to end this once and for all. You got your little revenge on my men, but it's time you listen to reason. I could ram your gates down and kill every last one of you. Or, we could end the bloodshed here and now. This war is over, Asher. It ended the moment Roderick fell. By Ramsay's rules, I'm the victor here. This will all be mine now. One way or another. My brother's death is on your hands! Believe me, the bloodshed has only begun. Do you know what? We've spilled so much Forrester blood already, Asher. You're the one who's missed all the fun. Let's put all this ugliness behind us. I'm willing to talk terms of your surrender. Surrender? Open your halls and bend the knee as my bannermen. You continue to produce ironwood, under my supervision, of course. And you will join your house to mine, for all to see, by wedding my queen. <laughs> well, fuck me. Asha, you can't! It's rather generous terms, actually. And if I tell you to go fuck yourself? <laughs> Look at my fucking army! If you want to die, I'm more than happy to oblige! I would just as happily kill you all and be done with it. But I'm very generously giving you a way to keep your bloody lives. Oh, one last thing. As a show of my goodwill, I've brought home the body of your lord. Your brother was too stubborn to know when it was over. Roderick, let me see him. I want to see my brother. <clears throat> I'm sure your people will be relieved to keep their lives. We'll never bend the knee to a fucking White Hill. You will. Unless you want to end up like Roderick here. You have an hour. I'll be waiting in my camp.
I'm sorry, little brother. I've buried too many sons. I should have been here. I should have come home faster. Don't blame yourself, Asher. Blame the fucking bastards outside that wall! Forgive me, I, I just... Perhaps the time has come to truly let this bloodshed end. Oh, fuck off. Oh, we that. simply accept. We bow our heads and Asher marries Gwyn. Craven! It's not the worst terms I've ever heard. I can't bow my head to the fucking White Hills after all they've done. I may have loved Gwyn, but no, no, not like this. Even if you went through with it, Lud would have you killed the moment Gwyn produced an heir. There will be no marriage. If we bow our heads now, we'll always be his slaves. We have to kill them, Asher. I piss on surrender. Let's ride out and kill them all. We ride to us! Spill their blood! Believe me, I want to kill every last fucking one of them. But we just don't have the numbers. Unless we take them on our terms, inside our walls. Lord rules that house with an iron fist. His sons, his bannermen, do nothing without his say-so. There may be 500 men outside that wall. Without Lord at the lead, They'll scatter like chickens with their heads cut off. That's good, but how? Lud will not simply cast aside his men and offer his neck. Such a task is easily said, but Lud is wary. Simple. We tell Lud exactly what he wants to hear. We invite him inside to celebrate and drink to our union. And then? An ambush. Your pit fight is hidden until the last moment. No, an ambush is too chaotic. Things could go badly quickly. Lud could escape. There's another way. Poison. In his wine. There are those who would call poison a coward's weapon. No. Lethal and direct. Neither plan is high risk. We only lure Lud inside if the whole family is there to sell it. Talia and Ryan will both be in danger. We're already in danger. I'll be there, Duncan. I'll pour the wine myself. Poison is dog shit. You're here for revenge. You want him to choke on your blade, not his vomit. But I understand the risks. But an ambush is the best way to kill as many White Hills as possible. Then we have a plan. I'm sorry. He deserves to fucking suffer for what he's done. Whatever happens to me, I need you to get Ryan out alive. As soon as we move on, Lord. Not a problem. You know you're the only family I've ever had. Oh, for God's sake. That makes God, Ryan my brother, that. too. Ugh, I won't forget this. Maybe. I've forgotten the number of times I've heard you say that. I've said that before. We will avenge Roderick's death tonight, whatever it takes. Send word to Lord. We'll drink this night to the prosperous future of our united houses. Surely he's going to be expecting a trap, though, Lee. Like, it, it's so blatantly obvious. Right, She's left the key! Get on a bit. We'll play this one in the Search the area! area. Lady Mira! There she is! Take her! What's all this? Look, Morgren, please. You have to help me. Mira Forrester! You're coming with us. Please, do something. Surely you have more dangerous criminals to deal with than Lady Marjorie's handmaiden. We have orders from Captain Lucan Let to... Let me worry about Lucan. You worry about buying yourselves a few tankards. On me. Thank you for keeping our city safe. Can I take you somewhere, Lady Mera?
The Rivergate. Thank you. The Rivergate. Quick as you can. What's going on, Mira? Is there a problem? Maybe I can help. Someone's plotting against me. Plotting? What do you mean? They're spreading malicious rumors. And worse, they've set the guard after me. I see. That is worrying indeed. Clearly you've made powerful enemies here in King's Landing. Although, you've made short work of one of them, at least. I hear Lord Andros has found a home in the Black Cells. I'm impressed. It seems he took on the wrong handmaiden and lost. Andros was just the beginning. I plan to destroy anyone in my way. All right, I didn't mean to say that, but, um, all right. Of course, now that you've gotten rid of my biggest competitor, all kinds of opportunities have opened up. Particularly in your part of the Seven Kingdoms. The Ironwood Market is wide open. A lot of gold to be made. There's opportunity enough for both of us, Lord Morgren. Think of what we could accomplish if we worked together. <laughs> I have thought about it. I've thought about it a great deal. You're clever, Mira. Working out that Andros was in league with the White Hills, you showed an understanding of King's Landing that took me years to gain. Of course, I knew you'd be a problem when we first met. Imagine, a handmaiden stealing the Crown's ironwood contract from under my nose. That's why I bribed that Lannister guard to kill you. Wait, what? I told you. Don't look so surprised. You must have known you'd become a target sooner or later. You... you two-faced shit! Don't you have any honor? Honor? Do you think I got where I am because of honor? We've both seen what happens to honorable men. After Lud takes Ironrath, he and I will control the Ironwood trade entirely. You've been very helpful, Mira. But it's time to get you out of the way. Can't have you complicating things. You're making a mistake, Morgren. Lud will turn on you the first chance he gets. You're a fool if you don't see that. Who is the fool here? You or I? We've arrived. Now get out of my fucking litter! Lucan, I fancy coming across you here. I seem to have found something you're looking for. That you have, my lord. I've been searching for this murderer a long time. Finally, I got her. You've got the wrong person. I... I've done nothing wrong. Shut your liar's mouth. It's time you answered for your crimes. Take her to the cells. Chin up, Mira. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, the headsman will be quick. What a... Honestly, I thought it was a bit too good to be true, him peeing off the guards, like, but... <sighs> Alright, I think that's going to be it for this episode, so uh, yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already, like the video, and yeah, I'll be back with part 3.